I have noticed that I'm starting to live my life in ways that kind of like subtract stress, chaos, and unpredictability. Which is really cool, because this is what I've been looking for for a long time. And as I'm on my journey of healing, I just recognize the contrast. You know, previously, I would, you know, do too many things, or I would agree to doing too many things. Um, I would really jam-pack, right? You know, like, you know, my schedule. Um, I would just, like put way too many things and everything, and now what I'm really looking to do is just breathe, just relax, regulate, be present with what I'm doing, and if I don't know if I can do something, I don't agree to do it. Um, this is one of the biggest aspects of healing um, in my eyes. It's just a really, it's really a matter of just getting grounded with the self and just being present and listening to the self and understanding what it is the self needs. Um, not just, you know, agreeing to doing everything else that everyone else wants to do. Um, and it's really cool, too. I'm finding myself having more, you know, both mental space and just, like, present space just like awareness for myself. It's a, it's a really interesting thing. Um, I've lived plenty of years uh, in stress, chaos, and unpredictability, and I just, I don't want it anymore. Um, I'm really not interested in not knowing if, like, it's going to be too much, or this, that, and the other, or if I'm not going to be able to arrive on time. Um, punctuality is something that is really important for me. Um, not just showing up, but showing up, and not even on time, but, like, before whatever time it's supposed to start. Like, um, I'm really trying to, uh, I guess the word, be, become unfamiliar with. There we go. I'm really trying to, um become unfamiliar with the hormones of stress, adrenaline and cortisol, um, which is actually very challenging because sometimes whenever adrenaline's there or whenever cortis uh, cortisol's there, let's look at adrenaline real quick. Adrenaline, sometimes my system says, oh, that was fun, right? And it's like, ooh, got to watch out for that. You know, cortisol, like the unnecessary, like, you know, cortisol I look at and it's just like, like that kind of stuff. I, I've been very used to that reaction to a lot of things in life. And I just, I want to decondition myself from that. Um, as I've been healing, what I've come to understand is that th this, this, this insight that I have arrived at is that life really isn't this hell or this dread or this stress or this overwhelm that so many people experience. I mean, it's, it's really not. All of that stuff is just in our minds. Like, you look out into the world and everything, everything's very, I don't know, still. I mean, of course, you know, people are chaotic and stuff. Society's chaotic. But I don't really consider that to be life. I don't consider, I mean, yes, of course, people are, people are alive and everything. But beyond human, you know, like beyond beyond the mind, like everything is just really still. Our minds, through conditioning, create unnecessary problems, right? And I'm just not trying to live that way anymore. Um, and I've heard many people tell me, that's just the way that life is. No, it's not. <laughs> that is not the way that life is. That's the way that you've learned to live life. And I'm going to decondition myself from that because it's extremely dysfunctional and very unhealthy. Um, no, life is not stressful or chaotic. Life is just life. We apply all these different labels to what things are or what we think that they're supposed to be, and that's just not the reality of what things are. Nothing is what we think it is. It, it isn't. There's. It's just not... It's not accurate. Um, 
so I'm just very interested to see how this continues to um, be for me. I'm just I'm really excited to decondition myself from stress, chaos, and unpredictability. I really am, and not only that, but also like uh, drama, gossip. Those are two. Those are uh, two things that I um, definitely learned early on in life um, to unnecessarily and unknowingly. When I say when I say unknowingly, I mean like without really knowing why. Not 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 know, not not knowing that I'm doing it. I'm knowing that I'm doing it, but not knowing why I'm doing it. Right. I have experienced a lot of things in life while not really knowing why I'm doing them, knowing that I'm doing them, but not really knowing why I'm doing them. And it's interesting because sometimes it's comfortable, sometimes it's just familiar. But I do want to decondition myself from. Um, drama and gossip, because that's something that I was previously kind of, like, conditioned into. And, yeah, I just look at it this way. There are things that I want to achieve in life. And it's going to take time and energy to achieve those things. Um, if I invest my time and energy in, like, drama and gossip and all that stuff, and, you know, just get consumed by... Uh, you know, stress, chaos, unpredictability. It doesn't need to be that way. If it doesn't need to be that way, why should I allow it to be that way? Right? So, I'm finding it really interesting that... And by the way, um, <laughs> stress, chaos, and unpredictability is very comfortable and familiar. Really, it is. Like, it's actually... <laughs> it's kind of, like, humorous to say it, but it's kind of challenging... It's a uh, yeah it's 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 sort of challenging to like actually step away from that. It is. Um but I understand what it is that I want for myself. Um I understand what I'm trying to create moving forward. And that's really what it is. That's what I'm going for. So yeah, I've noticed myself start to like not like jam pack my schedule. Um you know, just not really saying yes to everything and taking more time to myself taking more space to myself regulating as necessary dropping my shoulders loosening the eyebrows um, breathing that's what it's all about so I'm really excited to see how this continues to just like, I don't know make my experiences of life what they are it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Um, I understand that you know even five years ago, ten years ago, when I made decisions that I made, uh, you know when I started meditating, journaling, all that stuff, um, it really started to transform my experiences of life in very profound ways. And I can imagine that with these decisions of deconditioning myself from stress, chaos, and unpredictability, as well as things like drama and gossip, it's going to transform my experiences of life. And I'm very excited for that. I'm excited to see, you know, how my life transforms in the future.